In this example, we're going to learn how to plot integers on a number line. Plot the numbers that correspond to the given situation. Use a, we call this a point in mathematics, a point to mark the correct quantity. Also label all the surrounding tick marks. Make sure to include zero on your number line and scale the tick marks appropriately. <clears throat> so we're asked to do a few things here. Plot the numbers we need to use a point to mark the correct quantity okay? and that's really what it means to plot numbers we're just being specific about how we want this done we want to label all the surrounding tick marks so these are the tick marks and we want to make sure they all have a number on them and we want to make sure to include zero on the number line we'll need to scale the tick marks appropriately and that just means we need to put our numbers in a way so that the value we're looking at can be represented on the number line. So let's look at this first example. Tom gained four pounds. So here's our number line and notice it's labeled change in weight in pounds. So let's start by labeling these tick marks. So I'm going to use this text representation so it looks a little nicer. This would be zero. So since I'm only going up to the number 4, I know that I can increment by 1's because 4 is just 4 away from 0. So like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I've labeled all the positive values. And it said to label all of them, so I'm going to label the negative values. And I'm actually going to start this over here. So remember, this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So I'm going to start at negative 5. Negative 4. Negative 3. Negative 2. Notice I'm trying to line them up underneath the tick mark so we know which number it represents. And negative 1. Okay. So now we've labeled all the tick marks, tick marks and it's centered at 0. And we want that Tom gained 4 pounds. So notice 4 pounds is our number or our unit and since we want the change in weight gained is going to represent a positive number. So starting at 0, we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 is right here, and we actually already had it labeled, and I'm just going to put a dot right on 4. I think I can do that a little bit better. So centered at 4. Okay. So this is what it means to plot a number. You're going to make this circle light dot right directly on the line that corresponds to the number. Let's try the next one. Angela lost four pounds. So notice here the change in weight in pounds is identical or the change in weight labeling is identical but in this case Angela lost four pounds instead of Tom who had gained five pounds. So this is going to be a negative number. So our scaling is going to look the same And here, since I have these to go by, I'm going to start by going all the way to the left, negative 4, negative 3, okay. and usually it's easier to start at 0 and then count up and count down, but I knew how this was going to work out from the previous problem, so I'm just lining them up. So we scaled this problem by units of 1 again because we need 4 pounds and lost being negative 4, we'll use our highlighter, here 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's look at some more examples. <coughs> the temperature in Minnesota today is negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So this one actually gives us um, both the sign and the number right in the problem. Notice the number line is labeled degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? And we need to include uh, zero on our number line and we have to make sure we have negative two in there. So from the last example, we know that if we increment by ones or scale by ones, that negative two will be on our number line. So that's a good way to scale. Okay, now I'm going to scale the rest of the number line. Notice I'm trying to keep the numbers right underneath those tick marks. They're not perfect, but yours don't need to be perfect either, just really darn close. And now let's use the highlighter to highlight negative two. So there's negative one, negative two, and there's our point. Last one, a car is snorkeled 40 feet below the surface of the water. And then looking at our labeling, it wants us to label or plot feet relative to the surface of the water. Okay, So since a car was below the surface of the water, that means our 40 feet is going to be negative. So we're going to want negative 40 to plot the number negative 40. Now we can't use a scaling of ones like we did here, incrementing by one, because we wouldn't be able to get negative 40 in there. So a good way to think about this is if we scale by tens, then it would be ten times all of these amounts, or just adding a zero, and that would definitely include negative 40. So I'm going to start down here, and it's going to start at negative 50. and then increase by 10 each time. Negative 20, negative 10, there's zero in the middle. Now we're going to the positive numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And then negative 40 is going to be here, 0. Oop, these are a little bit off, but they're pretty close. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there is negative 40. Okay. 